Hi there, I'm Josh Millward, Systems Application Engineer here at Danley Sound Labs and Product Manager of the DNA Series Products. Today we're going to update the firmware in an amplifier. Updating the firmware in an SC48 is done exactly the same way. First, we're going to launch Podware. After you installed Podware on your computer, it should have created a shortcut on your desktop. Double-click that shortcut to launch Podware. Next, we're going to connect Podware to the network so that we can see our amplifiers. Click the Online button, which is located here. Remember, if you are using DHCP and there is not a DHCP server on the network, you must wait for the online LED on the front of the amplifier to stop flashing before you can connect to the amplifier. It takes about one minute after the network is connected, so please be patient. Now that we're connected to the network, we can see our amplifiers. We should check the current version of firmware in the amplifier to see if we need to update it. To do this, we need to open the amplifier panel. Find the amplifier in System View and double-click on it to open the panel. You will note that the amplifier is highlighted in the system view when it is the focus in the main window. We need to switch to the Utility tab to see the current version of firmware. Click on the tab with the little gear icon. This is the Utility tab. Look at the current version of firmware that is listed here at the top of the left column. It appears that this amplifier has version 1.238 on it. To demonstrate this procedure, we are going to update it to the same version of 1.238. To begin the firmware update process, right-click on your amplifier in the system view. Remember, the amplifier you are looking at right now is highlighted in blue in the system view. Click on the option that says Update Firmware. This will open a dialog box with instructions. If you want to go ahead and update the firmware, click on the OK button to continue. Otherwise, you can click on the Cancel button to cancel your firmware update. After clicking OK, a typical Open File window will be displayed. Use this window to navigate to your firmware file. This file is included with the Podware download from the Danley Sound Labs website. When you downloaded Podware, you downloaded a zip file. You should have unzipped that file before installing Podware. Go to the folder that was created and inside that folder you will find another folder called firmware. Inside the firmware folder is the firmware file we need. In this case we are updating a DNA 20K4 Pro amplifier. So select the file for the DNA 20K4 Pro and click OK. A confirmation window will pop up asking if you are certain that you want to update from the old version to the new version. Note in this case our versions are the same. Click on the affirmative button to allow the update to begin. This will cause the amplifier to go offline as it completes the update procedure. It takes a couple of minutes to complete, so this would be a good time to visit the restroom, get a cup of coffee, or whatever you like to drink. As you can see, on the front panel of the amplifier, it does not want to be bothered while this update is happening. Hey folks, this is Doug. Uh, Josh, I'm going to interrupt your video here for just a second to give the folks a very important message. Please do not turn off the power switch while the firmware update is going on. At some point during the process, all the lights will go off in the amp and it looks like it's finished. Well, it really isn't. You need to let the amplifier come back up online and look normal again. That's when you'll know that the firmware update process is over. Back to you, Josh. To check that the firmware update was completed correctly, open the panel for the amplifier and switch to the Utility tab. We should now see that the amplifier's firmware has been updated to the latest version. This concludes updating firmware in the DNA devices. I'm Josh Millward, the Amp Guy here at Danley Sound Labs. Thanks for watching.